Okay, so when we're dealing with trig functions, we have these formulas that are called co-function identities. And the co-function identities basically say that if you have any acute angle, which we call A in this case, if you take sine of that angle, it's the same thing as if you took cosine of 90 degrees minus that angle. Likewise, if you took cosine of some angle A, it's the same thing as if you had sine of 90 degrees minus that angle A. And then the same thing is true between tangent and cotangent, as well as cosecant and secant. So we're going to try two examples. For the first one, we have sine of 34 degrees. I apologize, I couldn't write it with the degree symbol in this text. But we want to find sine of 34 degrees in terms of cosine. So to start off with, sine of 34 degrees, we have to look at which, if any, of our cofunction identities can change sine into cosine. So if we notice our first one says that if you have sine of some angle A, and A is acute, meaning it's less than 90 but greater than 0, then we can rewrite that as cosine of 90 degrees minus that angle. So sine of 34 degrees is the same thing as cosine of 90 degrees minus our original angle we started with, which was 30 four degrees. And when we do that, we subtract 34 from 90, which leaves us with cosine of 56 degrees. So sine of 34 degrees is equal to cosine of 56 degrees. And a quick check you can do here is these two angles should always add up to 90. The idea is sine of A being equal to cosine of 90 minus A. If you took those two angles, A, and added that to the other angle, which is 90 minus A, then your A's would cancel out, leaving you with just... 90 degrees. So the sum of the two angles in our cofunction identities should always equal 90. So if you took this 34 and added it to this 56, you would get 90. So that confirms we've done this correctly. Now let's try a problem that really illustrates that. For this one, we are given secant of 2x minus 10 is equal to cosecant of 5x plus 70, and we want to find x. And we're assuming that these angles are acute. So, because secant and cosecant, if we go back up to the top, secant and cosecant are cofunctions, then that means we can take their two angles, and remember, when you're dealing with cofunctions, we said if we add them together, the result must equal 90 degrees. So 2x minus 10 plus 5x plus 70 must be equal to 90. There really should be degree symbols with all of these, but just humor me. It's hard to draw these on this paint platform. So now we can just solve this as if this were an algebraic problem. So 2x plus 5x is going to give us 7x. And then we have negative 10 plus 70 is going to give us plus 60 degrees, and that will be equal to 90 degrees. 
And now if we subtract 60 from each side, we get 7x is equal to 30 degrees. So finally, if we divide each side by 7, we get x is equal to 30 over 7 degrees. Remember, we want exact answers since this fraction won't simplify. We just leave it as is.